Welcome to Big Up What's in the Bag, where we go over some of the most recent drum and bass vinyl releases that I personally have purchased because I love them so much. Uh, let's start out with Fractures Unite EP on Alex Perez's label 1985. In my opinion, this is probably a contender for the best EP of the year. I'm a huge fan of Fracture, I won't deny that, and I pick up almost everything he gets, but this one kind of outdoes it. Uh, it starts out with a tune called Give Me the Love, which starts out, you know, very atmospheric, kind of good-looking feeling, and it's got some nice uh, vocals by Fox, as you can see. Uh, then it just dumps into this juke-inspired jungle rinse-out with bouncy bass, dance floor all the way uh, it's got a loon sample on it which just reminds me so much of, of good looking stuff uh, this one pays proper respect to jungle and brings it forward in all the way that I want same with feel for you uh, bouncy bass much more atmospheric start to it and then when the bass drops it's like stabby bass that's bouncy in a way that isn't cheesy it makes me want to like jump up and you know scream out all the stupid stuff that jungle mc like to say um like bow and brap and rewind uh then on the b side we start out with realize featuring alex Prez. you can definitely tell that this is a tune that was written with alex Prez. uh fractures made tunes all across the spectrum of drum and bass um but you can definitely hear Alex Perez's influence. The break is much more simple. The bass is much more techy uh, and minimal, which that's like a sound that frac that Alex Perez is, is well known for. But you can definitely also hear the jungle influences and the kind of um, more bouncy, dance floory flavor that Fracture brings. And then lastly is Brothers and Sisters, uh, another just great jungle juke tune uh the, i i would think that if dj rashad in chicago had invented jungle in the 90s this is what that would have sounded like all four tunes are like the a sides of almost any other ep not a bad tune here i can't recommend it enough i think you should buy this i definitely think it's a future classic <laughs> Next, we got uh, a repress from Caliber on his signature label. Uh, it was originally released back in 2011. It's Foreign Bodies and Ugly Duckling. Uh, this actually got repressed back in uh, 2017. I completely missed it, and it showed up in the on the online store that I purchased most of my new jungle from, thinking it was a brand new repress. Instantly grabbed it. Uh, I grab almost everything from Caliber and on signature if I see it. I'm a huge fan of Caliber. Uh, he's one of the most consistent producers. Don't even really have to listen to it. Uh, Foreign Bodies is uh, a nice kind of liquidy tune with some bounce. A little more bounce than I typically would expect from Caliber, especially back in 2011. He went through kind of a, almost like a jump up phase, at least compared to what he used to produce. And this would... This was probably the very beginning of it, but I think this release was probably a little underlooked at the time. Uh, uh, Foreign Bodies has an awesome stuttered vocal by MC Fats. Singing Fats, that is. Uh, love this tune, uh, but the B-side is the one for me. Ugly Duckling is a little bit more minimal with this really bouncy dance floor bass line that has got funk and groove and is not cheesy in any way shape or form uh, definitely like more dance floory than a lot of his earlier more real strict liquid tunes it's caliber so it's gonna be amazing I love it I think you should buy it next we got YBLC which is young binga and little chimpo or chimps sorry uh, which, if you've been in drum and bass for the last ten years, you probably know that's probably that you you could probably guess it's Sam Binga and Chimpo, uh, two guys who have been around the scene doing who've helped kind of revive the 160 Juki um, 
jungle, modern jungle rehash stuff. Uh, I'm huge fans of both of theirs. I absolutely love almost all the work they ever put out. Chimpo is they both these guys do not take themselves seriously. Um, which I think is where this kind of comes from. I mean, they it's the first release on a label they call YBLC, which is stands for Young Bingles and Little Chimps. So I hope we see more stuff like this because both these tunes don't take themselves too seriously. They're like 90s style jump up jungle tunes that are modern. Um, the first tune is a remix of Joy Overson and East Connection called Ready Mingo. Uh, it's got squelchy bass and transitions into like these deep like 808 stabs like stuttered breaks that are in that jungle style uh, this cheesy horn sample that i think i would hate on almost any other tune um, but everything about it i i love and the b-side is uh, a remix of skepta's song man where skepta kind of goes off about how um he's not your man he's not your cousin he's not your friend uh, and and the remix here is is uh, this is the tune of the tune of the plate for me, um, and I really think that Chimpo and and Sam Binger are kind of making fun of British slang the way they remixed it, but I could be wrong because I'm American I don't fully understand British slang but that's what it sounds like to me. Next we have Saxton Action Saxton on the lion dub label uh, which is like a modern day um, jungle label that is run by dj lion dub someone who i'm not really familiar with and micros visionary someone who i am much more familiar with um, these guys are based out of toronto they're doing a lot of like the re um, they're just bringing jungle back and this ep is full of raga samples and dark kind of dark drum and bass that like blue note was known for like metalheads blue note sessions where it's dark but it's dancey and it's fun and it uh it's not like a technical show-off thing it's all about groove and funk and like making you want to move as opposed to like showing that you can twist the knobs on a on a synthesizer to the a million ways in one um, the first song is the one that I really gravitate towards. It's kind of the more jungle influence one by Saxon and T, uh, T I, uh, and, uh, it's got stuttered eight men's big bass. Uh, it's good stuff. All four tunes on this are great. Um, but you'd mostly see me catching out playing that a side. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're into Raga, the Raga style samples. Next, we got Tim Reaper. Uh, Tim Reaper is kind of known online as a you know a purist of old school jungle, and this EP is like a, uh, an example of that. Real early stuff, real early hardcore jungle. Like we're talking '92 stuff, um, stuff that you would hear like uh, Groove Rider and people like that play back in the day where it's got like a 4-4 beat with breaks on top of it. It starts off with this tune called Jug Dance, which is actually got a Simpson sample of uh, when Lisa Simpson goes and, and, and is sad because she has to learn how to play the jug. Um, anyways, the sample is hilarious. It fits in to the song perfectly. The, the jug sample goes throughout. I heard this song and instantly knew I wanted the EP being a huge Simpsons fan uh, the second song on the A side is Slugs Penetrate 4-4 four, four, hardcore influenced jung early jungle tune uh, everything about it I love it sounds like all the jungle tunes that I have in my di Discogs want list that I can't afford because they're so rare now uh, getting the flow is very much the same thing stuttered getting the flow like vocal sample um 4-4 four, four with breaks on top of it, like it. But the real tune for me, uh, outside of Jug Dance, is the Untitled, which has got some pitch breaks at the beginning. It's uh, stuttered female vocals. It's 
like the jungle stuff that I absolutely love. It's very Ram influenced. Like I think of uh, Unknown Valley is like a same type of heavy, heavily filtered Reese bass. I can't recommend this release enough. Basically, if, if you can, keep an eye out for Tim Reaper because if you like that old school jungle feel with a modern twist, this guy is doing it the right way. Anyways, that's what I got for you today. If you like what you see, come back and check out more reviews in the future. Thanks.